that I had a question the other day about superheat and subcooling. About what superheat was and what sub subcooling is. But let me explain it to you this way. Let's talk about water first. When we think about water, let's say that we have water at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. We can bring the temperature of that water up to 212 degrees. Now what's happening at 212? We're going to start to boil the water. We start to boil it and then we boil, boil, boil until this water happens to be 100% vapor. 100% vapor. Then if we raise the temperature some more, we're going to go up like this. But the temperature here is going to be at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. We could raise the temperature to, let's say, a total of 220 degrees Fahrenheit. So by raising that temperature, what are we doing? We are superheating the steam superheating the steam. So on this side we have 100% liquid and then we have less and less liquid more and more vapor. Once it's 100% vapor at 212 degrees then we raise the temperature and we are superheating. If we go ahead and turn the flame off if we don't add any more heat to it what's going to happen? The temperature is going to drop and it's going to drop. So what are we doing here? We are de-superheating. Well once we get down to 212 degrees we start to condense. We start to turn this into 100 percent liquid again. If we lower the temperature some more then we are sub-cooling the liquid. One important thing I always tell the students is this right here. Right here, what we have is saturated. It is saturated, meaning that it's a mixture of liquid and vapor. The further we're this way, the more vapor we have, the less liquid. The more this way we are, the more liquid we have, the less vapor. But right here, it is saturated. So in class, usually I ask the students, what is the definition of superheating? Superheating is raising the temperature above the saturation temperature. What is subcooling? Subcooling is lowering the temperature below the saturation temperature. So let's think about refrigerant for a second. If we thought about refrigerant, the evaporator, we're boiling the refrigerant and the evaporator and that's going to be at 40 degrees. That's going to be at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it is at 100% vapor, it's still going to be at 40 degrees, but now what are we doing? We're superheating. And we're raising the temperature to, let's say, 50 degrees. We're raising the temperature to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So when we do the math, we can see that we have 50 minus the 40 that gives us 10. 10 degrees of superheat. 10 degrees of superheat. This is where we come up with a 10 degrees of superheat. On the other hand, if we think about refrigerant, let's say we're condensing the refrigerant in the condenser at 120 degrees we lower the temperature down to 100 so we subcooled we subcooled so we we saturation temperature in the condenser is going to be 120 degrees we subcool or we lower the temperature down to 100 and because of that when we do the math we subtract we end up with 20 degrees of subcooling. 20 degrees of subcooling. So that's basically what superheat is and that is what subcooling is and that is how to figure it out. Take a look on my webpage. I have some more videos like this. I hope you like it and I hope it helped.